hey y'all so that was a very weak hey y'all that was a very like stern hey y'all <laughs> but um i wanted to make a different type of video today and just be very open and honest with you all because i feel like um i've been wanting to make something like this for a while um but just as something to for people to connect to but also to just be real 100 percent real raw uncut um and in no way am I looking for like attention or anything, but I know people are gonna be like, say something crazy. Um, but I just want this video to be something truly that people can relate to, because I know a lot of people deal with the things I deal with, which is anxiety and depression. Um, and I feel like you all see a very happy, chipper side of me, but of course you don't see, you know, rain cloud newly so i'm giving you today the rain cloud newly that is being just transparent visible here um you know i exist <laughs> um so i just i guess what i want to do is just you know i'm not quitting y'all i just want to let you know as a heads up so don't worry but um i wanted to just kind of talk about like journey um and i don't know maybe if i could do like video diary i don't know i don't really want to put any more ideas in my head out there but i think that one thing i've learned from people who have taken big leaps of faith um or stories of people who have taken big leaps of faith and have made it quote unquote um is that you never hear about that journey in between um you just hear about they came from a hard life and now they made it um but this video is to tell you all that that journey is still an ongoing journey for everybody even if they have made it but it also you know isn't all smooth sailing or like a direct route or direct path that you're going to be pulled in different directions and be confused about yourself and be confused about your direction about what you're doing about if it's even worth it and you know um you just have these moments of like doubt which is what i'm going through um i left my job back in 2016 and it was a nine to five that paid you know pretty well and i never had to really worry too much about you know bills food different things like that um and i left it not because of youtube to start a youtube channel but because I was super super depressed and super just like I didn't even I felt like I didn't even know who I was anymore and I was not creating I was not doing the things I was made I was created to do which was make art and just be happy and I literally would work like way more hours than 40 hours a week and just put in all this time um, for something that didn't even warrant my time to begin with um, and but now but now i'm here and what i want to say about being here is that the journey is rough <laughs> the journey is very rough and especially when you deal with anxiety and depression it's even rougher <laughs> um and i have moments where i kind of go back and forth between like applying for jobs and you know doing try to find different things to do i have a, a freelance business too that not a lot of people know but i do have a freelance business i have a website and everything um that i do like multimedia services from literally everything you see on my channel i do for people in real life uh, so hair makeup you know costumes different things like that and while it does definitely help with bills and keeping up with bills i also find myself kind of like still feeling those feelings of like is this right for me is this what i need to be doing like how come i'm not happy and i have those days where you know um i'm just like not motivated to even create things sometimes um and i also struggle with even seeing myself as a creator seeing myself as talented and it's no way reflective of you all because you all have just been just so amazing and so like supportive and just saying the most beautiful things that have just really lifted my spirits but i really am trying to get myself to a place where 
I can see those things that you all are telling me I am. And, you know, I made this YouTube channel not for the validation of others or not for money. I Shoot, I made this YouTube channel back in college when I didn't even really, you know, I had a on-campus job and stuff like that. I just wanted to make something so I could share my work with people and, you know, just feel like I'm putting work out there, you know. Um, and I, um, I think I've always struggled as an artist um, to really see myself as talented. I've always been told, you know, wow, you do all these things, you're so cool, and this and that, and I'm like, thank you, thank you so, like, and I really genuinely mean thank you so much because it, it really warms my heart. It's just really, it hurts me so much that I can't see that in myself sometimes, a lot of times. You know, I, I want so much for the confidence in myself. I want so much to see myself as everything that I'm destined to be. And of course, it's not going to be a easy process because it's a lot of just learning to be self-confident, um, learning to be like, yo, I'm self-sufficient, just like, you got this, Anuli. Like, being my own motivator, being my own cheerleader, that's extremely difficult for me for some reason. Um, advertising myself, like, you know, I will support everybody and every, you know, anybody who's doing stuff for them and like being creative and everything, I will be their cheerleaders, but I will never show up for myself. And I genuinely enjoy sharing my content and work, but it's hard sometimes for me to even like really appreciate and look back on the things I've created. I'm, you know, grateful for what how far I have come and I am mindful of that, but I for some reason struggle to like really see that in myself. And I'm, I'm wondering, you know, was there something wrong with me? Like, how come I can't feel great? How come I don't feel worthy? How come I feel sad, even though I'm doing the things that I love, but like, what is going on? And so, you know, I'm super grateful and that I took that leap of faith and I do not regret taking a leap of faith and like leaving the nine to five job. I think the only thing I feel bad about is just not putting myself in that mindset where, you know, I, you know, constantly am like putting myself out there, cheering myself up, like getting my, bringing myself up, building myself up and seeing myself for the, the greatness that I have in me. And, um, really putting my time to things that don't matter, such as like, <laughs> you know, like a lot of just scrolling through Instagram and things like that, trying to numb my mind with distractions and things like that. Um, yeah, I hope this makes sense, y'all, because I'm like spinning a lot of things. But I just want to say that the journey to getting to whatever your definition of success is, is not easy whatsoever. And let me be the one to like be an example of that. Um, Taking a leap of faith is extremely rewarding, and but it's extremely hard um, because you don't know when your income is coming in or where it's coming from. And you also have to believe in yourself, which is very difficult for a lot of people, like myself included, especially artists and creatives. Um, you have to be your own motivator. You have to see yourself as great constantly because if you don't, you're going to get into a point where I'm feel like I am right now where you're just like not, like I'm not worthy of any of this like and I'm not saying like life because I love living and I love you know life and everything but I just feel so like what is it that I'm put on this earth to do what am I here for what am I what is my goals what is my talents where is my direction and so I feel lost. I feel lost a lot. I feel lost in terms of, you know, who I am, you know, what it is that I'm truly, truly good at. Because I do a lot of things and I've, you know, worked in a lot of different things, but I haven't quite decided what it is 
that I'm going to just stick with or even if you know like or should I stick with one thing is it too confusing you know what I'm saying like for me to just t take on all these different you know backgrounds and art and creativity and all that is it too much but I'm just trying to find my place in the world and you know becoming the person that you're destined to be is very hard because you have no idea until you like get there <laughs> and even so you still have no idea because it's you're ever changing which I'm learning um, things are moving quickly things are happening but sometimes it just all feels like it's just going very slowly so um, yeah I mean I've cried a lot and I cried before this video um, I might cry again but I just want to say that if you feel lost if you feel like you know you can't see the greatness in you know that it's okay and know that you're not alone but also know that it's it will what you want to be is happening what you so long as you you don't need to push every day push yourself to do things you know but you do need to reach out and talk and open up you do need to take care of yourself um in the sense of mental just take care of your mentality take care of yourself and feel whole in some ways um especially sorry my camera cut off but um if you're doing something that is not like the typical nine to five job i just want to let you know it is very difficult um but if you are ever feeling you know lost and unmotivated and just really low know that you're not a alone know that it's not just you know you by yourself and that you can always reach out to people and they might even be going through the same thing like myself and but know that it's okay to feel those feelings and that the best way to sort of navigate through through this game this journey called life is to take care of yourself each step of the way because that's really what's going to kind of pull you from you know moments of darkness and of course like talking to people seeking you know medical help if you need that and professional help if you need that absolutely um whatever you do to make yourself feel good you know in terms of like whether it be meditation prayer you know taking walks regular yoga do what you need to do to make yourself feel whole that is healthy for you you know um eating right different little things like that i feel like you know at least make you feel like okay i'm i'm doing i'm doing good for my body at least i'm starting to feel like all right i can do at least like one task today towards like you know a, a small goal or a major goal rather um and that's what i'm teaching myself right now and doing little things each day to make myself feel good and whole but also practicing how to tell myself on the ball like looking in the mirror and be like Nuli, you're awesome and you can do a lot of things and it's okay that you're not quite sure where you fit yet but you will find where you will fit god and the universe or whoever even if you don't believe in anything it's totally fine but like the person that you're meant to be will find you and there's nothing wrong with you there's nothing wrong with not knowing what you are good at there's nothing wrong you know with feeling low sometimes because it happens just know that you aren't alone <laughs> and um reach out speak up speak up speak out do things that make you feel good right or don't write do yoga meditate um just remember the journey is not point a to point b there's a 
point C, D. It goes in all different directions. And you hear, like I said, you hear those stories of people like they was poor and now they made it. <laughs> but there's never that in between. And so this is the in between and the in between sucks. <laughs> but you will get through it because all you need to really focus on is you at the end of the day. And that's something that I'm saying to myself and saying to you um, because I know I don't do that <laughs> and my body's starting to tell me that hey everything will be okay let's not worry and stress ourselves out and have panic attacks and all of these things go outside take fresh air stay out there for an hour meditate look up at the sky think about nothing write write poetry think about something that makes you happy or something that you want to make that makes you happy and draw it out or you know do something that scares you which is something that i like i love but haven't really been living by but try something new do something that scares you and you know you'll be happy that you did it and whether that be the leap of faith or the in-between, whether that be the now or the, the tomorrow, you know, it's okay to take chances and it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to not know, um, but take care of yourself, love yourself, know that you're worthy and know that you will get there because you will. You're already that person that you want to be they have to find you as you were just living your life so it'll happen so yeah thanks y'all for listening <laughs>